the importance of getting paid in daddy dollars. I just got off the phone with one of my executive coaching clients and boy, am I inspired by the conversation we had. And oftentimes I do get inspired by those conversations that I have with my clients. So we talked about getting paid in daddy dollars. So this guy is, he's an executive and uh, he's in a role where he has some flexibility. And we talked about how valuable that is from a compensation standpoint. And we called it daddy dollars because he could take off during the day, an hour, hour and a half, and take his young daughter to the park. And he put that hour and a half back in later at night, but he could actually go offline and spend that time with his daughter and how incredibly valuable that is to him during this time in his daughter's life. So, of course, now his daughter's very young and eventually one day she'll be older, he won't have this opportunity. And so daddy dollars as a form of compensation will change or could be different. Um, he may want to get paid in other ways, renegotiate his, his executive salary or, or his package, but whatever it happens to be, uh, the key is just to be in tune with the true value that you have from the job. So it could be the meaning, the impact you make. It could be the actual dollars in your compensation or the benefits. And of course, we talked about that flexibility to go do what you need to do to be with your family. But what? don't just look, just don't consider your compensation as a form of dollars. Look at all the other things. Because the beautiful part about that is it may make you want to stay and re-engage with the job you have. It also might lead to you negotiating on these less traditional forms of compensation and leave you ultimately in a much better prof uh, professional position. And the beautiful part is this is actually good for the company too because you're going to be more committed in the role you have. So go get them.